Hi, I'm Holly of Holly Soap Making. In this video, I'll be using an indigo powder oil infusion to create a pink feather swirl soap. All the links and details are listed below, and if you're interested in the recipe I use, I'll provide a listing of it at the end entered into a soap calculator. Be sure to protect your skin and eyes when making soap, and always practice lye safe handling procedures during the entire soap making process, even while cleaning up. If you need more information on lye safety or beginner soap making, you'll find links in the description box below. I happen to have some indigo infused olive oil left over from the pink and blue soap making video that I posted last month, so I decided to use the rest to make this soap. Since I already covered the details of making an indigo oil infusion, I won't go into those again in this video, but if you'd like to check that out, I'll be sure and list the video here and also in the description box below. To help lighten the soap for the feather swirl, I prepared some titanium dioxide by dissolving one teaspoon in warm distilled water. I'm including the lye and oil preparation in this video, but if you'd rather skip these parts, you can use the YouTube progress bar below to find the next section. To make the lye, I measured out my distilled water and sodium hydroxide in separate containers. Then I added the sodium hydroxide to the water and stirred until I was sure it was dissolved. Remember to always add the sodium hydroxide to the water. Never add water to sodium hydroxide because it can cause sputtering or even violently react. Be sure to work in a well-ventilated area away from pets and children and don't stand directly over the lye or breathe any of the fumes. Once I was certain the sodium hydroxide was dissolved, I set the lye aside to cool and moved on to preparing the oils. I measured out the cocoa butter first and melted it, then added the shea butter, lard, and coconut oil. I placed all of the olive oil in my recipe with the indigo infused olive oil. This infusion had been sitting for a few weeks and all of the indigo powder had completely settled on the bottom. If you've seen the other video, you probably noticed that the oil is definitely a lighter translucent pink color than before, but it still produced a really pretty pink. If you want a darker pink, you could always gently turn the jar over and pull up some of the powder off the bottom until the oil looks darker magenta in color. Just be careful not to do too much or you'll end up with a blue soap. Finally, I weighed out the castor oil and then combined all of the oils into one bowl. For the fragrance, I used a blend of lavender, bergamot, and geranium essential oils. After reaching emulsion, I separated off 20% of the soap for the feather swirl in the middle and lightened the color using the titanium dioxide that I had prepared earlier. I 
started by adding about an inch of the dark pink soap in the bottom of the mold. Then I alternated the light and dark soap until I reached the top. I did oven process the soap as I normally do so that the pink color would be more vibrant and also to help make the soap a bit easier to unmold the next day. I removed the soap from the oven the next morning, allowed it to sit for a few hours, and then unmolded and cut it that afternoon.
Since this was a cold process soap, I made sure the top of lye was set to sodium hydroxide or NaOH. My recipe oil weight was 1100 grams. My lye concentration was 35%, which means my lye solution contained 35% sodium hydroxide and 65% water. If you'd rather not use this much of a water discount, you can set this to 33% or 31% instead. I set the super fat to 6% and my fragrance usage rate was 40 grams per kilogram. This recipe does contain lard, so for those of you who would rather not use that, I'll include another recipe following this one. Once all of your data is entered, you just select to calculate the recipe, then to view or print it. SoapCalc will give you a really nice listing of all of your ingredients, along with the amount of sodium hydroxide required to saponify your oils. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video, and I hope you found something useful here to help you in your soap making.